Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing to you guys tips and mainly try and help you guys take advantage of the market crash that just happened today in NBA 2K19, my team. And with that being said, if this video does help you, if you guys could do me a quick favor and drop a like on the video because that does help me out a lot. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do smash the like. And let's try and set the like goal for 150 likes on this video. So let's get straight into it right here. Now, as you guys see on the screen in front of us, we have the pack screen that just came out today. These new 20th anniversary Super Pack Series 1 packs dropped today. And with that being said, because these Super Packs dropped, the market crashed. The market crashed because these packs were just so juiced and there was just so many Pink Diamonds anniversary cards flying out of packs. I mean, you guys take a look for yourself. There's a Super Pack containing a Pink Diamond Magic, Pink Diamond AI, Pink Diamond Giannis, Pink Diamond Blake, Pink Diamond Ben Wallace. I didn't open up these packs just because my pack look hasn't been good and I just was mainly trying to take advantage of the market crash today in which I did in this video I'm gonna be helping you guys take advantage of the market crash that just occurred today I didn't open up these packs today but I do know a lot of people who did and with that being said those people pulled a lot of pink diamonds and more people and more people pulled pink diamonds I'm sure some of you guys watching this video pulled more pink diamonds you know what I'm saying so with that being said because the entire my team community a lot of the people in this community ripping up these packs getting pink diamond pulls that caused the auction house to flood and crash and with that being said all the prices went down so in this video I'm going to be helping you guys take advantage of the market crash situation that occurred today so let's dive straight into it as we're going to discuss and get into the first tip and it, the first tip tip number one is the fact that right now it is buyer season now what I mean by buyer season is it is a good time to buy cards that you want on your team you know say for example last week you were thinking about getting a pink diamond eyes and he was way too overpriced last week. Now today, now this week is a good time to buy Giannis if you guys want him on your team because of the fact that his price dropped in value, you know, it dropped like over 100,000 MT. So that being said, it's a good time to buy the card that you want on your squad. Now when I say buy the cards right now because the auction price is lower, I'm saying buy the cards that you want on your team, you know what I'm saying? Like don't, I, I'm right now I am not advising to buy and sell cards. I am not advising to buy and sell cards at all. What I'm trying to do right now is help you guys take advantage of the auction block and give you guys tips to take advantage of this market crash right now. I'm not advising you guys to buy and sell cards. I'm just helping you guys out here in this video. It is not a good time right now to sell your cards, but it is a great time to buy your cards. For example, if we just dive straight into it, I'll give you guys an example. Amethyst Hidu Turkulu. About a week, not really a week ago, about a few days ago, this Hidu Turkulu was going for 16,000 MT. Right now, he is going for... Nine, less than 9,000 He's going for 7,000 MT like we're gonna try and look for the cheapest one on the block Yeah, okay right now the lowest heat return glue is 6.9 thousand MT So with that being said right now It is a buyer season to buy cards because about a, about a few days ago, like I said, this Hidu Turkulu was going for 16,000 MT. The supply for the heat, for these Hidu Turkulus was low, so the demand went up for them. You know, when there's a low supply of the card, the higher the demand. Lower supply, the higher people are going to pay for cards. That was a few days ago before he started flooding out of patch and there was a crash, which is why he was going for 16,000 MT. Right now, because of the auction market crash, he's going for 6,000 MT. So right now, it is a good time to buy the cards that you want on your team because of the fact that their price and value is lower. Same thing with this Giannis. He had a price drop as well because of the market crash. You guys take a look right now. The closest one to ending is in 8 minutes and he's less than 300,000 MT. This is like one of the first times we've seen a Giannis, a Pink Diamond Giannis is under 300,000 MT. Before today, before the crash, you know, he was pushing 350 to 400,000 MT. Almost close to 500,000 MT with the shoe and contract. Now, with that being said, it is a great time to buy cards that you see in these packs. You know, all these cards that you see in the packs that's available, you know, has a price drop. Perfect, I'll give you an example. Diamond Andre Iguodala. Before today, he was going for like 150, 160,000 MT. Right now, he's going for 70,000 MT. Great time to buy these cards you guys see in the packs because of how much of how much they've dropped, how much people have pulled them, dropped their price and value. So every card you guys see right here is a good time to buy because of the market crash. Moving on to tip number two, and that is a tip of not selling your cards right now because of the drop in price. So take a look at all these cards right here that drop in this super pack. Every single one of these cards dropped in price. So with that being said, right now it is not a good time to sell all these cards because of how many are being pulled and how much of their price dropped. Like I told you guys about buying Magic Johnson. 
The perfect example, kind of the same thing what I said about buying is selling Magic Johnson. Take a look at this Magic Johnson right here. He is selling for 250,000 MT. Somebody just ended an auction buying him for 250,000 MT. About a week ago, he was pushing 400,000 MT. So with that being said, right now is not a good time to sell your Magic Johnson or any of your 20th anniversary cards or really any throwback elite cards because right now everybody's trying to do that, which is dropping the market value price of this Pink Diamond Magic and other Pink Diamond cards. You know, same thing with Pink Diamond Blake Griffin. Right now it's going for 211,000 MT. About a few days ago before the market crash, he was going for over 300,000 MT. Right now, it is not a seller season, so if you guys have your cards, the 20th anniversary cards, or the throwback elite cards that you guys see, like Hidden Turkaloo, Draymond Green, Iguodala, those cards, it's not a good time to sell because everybody's pulling packs, everybody's getting those cards, everybody's selling those cards, which is why the market value is bringing down. So it is not a good time right now to sell your cards because everybody's selling them, which is causing the market to crash. Now, I know what you guys are wondering. If I can't sell my cards now, when is a good time to sell my cards? Well, that's going to lead me into tip number three, which is why it is a good time to sell your cards and the content gets dry and the market goes back up. So because so many people have pulled these packs, you know, there's going to be a crash in the market for about a couple weeks probably, you know. I wouldn't sell the cards for, you know, I'd say a couple weeks minimum. Like, that's what I'm doing. Right now, I have some of these cards like... I have Marcus Saul, who I'm not going to sell because I think his price is going to go back up. Draymond Green, Hidu Turkaloo. I have cards like that who I'm not going to sell right now because of the fact that their price is down. Now, when's a good time for me to sell them? In a couple of weeks when you can't pull these cards anymore and we're going to be on to the Series 2 of 20th Anniversary. Right now, we're on the first series, which includes Giannis, Magic, MJ, Iverson, uh, Blake, and Ben Wallace. We those see, This Series 1 includes all those cards but as soon as series one is over as soon as that mj drops and you're gonna get the galaxy oval chris paul these cards right here are no longer going to be in packs which is why in a couple of weeks or three weeks when series two of the 20th anniversary comes out the market value will go back up on these cards which will be a good time to sell these cards but right now the next week or two like it's not a good time to sell so yeah i would wait it out a couple of weeks when it's when the supply of these cards gets lower and you guys can't pull them anymore that is a great time to sell the cards, which I think will happen for a couple or few weeks. So the fourth tip that I do want to give you guys after the market has went back up of the cards, it is to sell your cards on a dry weekend of no content. So in about a few weeks or so, when the cards go back up and stuff, you know, it's the best time to sell your card is going to be on a dry weekend where there's no content. We pretty much get content every single weekend, but there are going to be some weekends where we don't have content, maybe in a few weeks or so, in a month. You might not have any content on a weekend. 2K will just, you know, take the weekend off, I guess. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's going to be a weekend where there is no content, which is going to be a best, which is going to be a really, really good time to sell your cards because of the fact that the market is going to go back up and there's no content to bring the market down a little bit. So, on a dry weekend, after the market crash, after the crash, excuse me, not after the market crash, after a few weeks on a dry weekend, when the price of the cards go back up, that's going to be a really good time to sell your guys cards. And pretty much just capitalized on this market crash that happened now. So during this market crash, you know, it's a good time to buy cards, but also snipe cards. Because there's going to be so many people putting up cards for just 100,000 MP, the 20th anniversary cards. I've seen so many snipes earlier today because so many people are pulling the cards. And, you know, it's, it's just a good time to snipe cards right now after the market crash. But the best time really is to snipe the card is as soon as the packs come out. Like, there isn't really a best time to snipe cards. I mean, sniping cards is literally all about getting lucky. But when there is a market crash and there's tons of people putting up new cards or their cards on the auction block, because the, because the supply is so up there and there's so much of a supply in the cards, people might slip up and put them for 100,000 MT. Like, sniping is 100% luck, but the, the best luck to have or like, I would say the best time to snipe cards is during a market crash when everybody's pulling packs and getting trying to pull pink diamonds and pulling a lot of pink diamonds. So yeah, with that being said, it's a good time to, you know, snipe cards when there's a market crash like today. So yeah, that's pretty much it. To recap on this video, the five points on taking advantage of market crashes like today that happen are tip number one, buy the card that you want right now because the price is lower. Tip number two is do not sell your cards right now because everybody's selling their cards and the market has crashed. Tip number three is that the cards will go back up in a few weeks or so. And tip number four is after the cards do back, go back up, I would advise selling it on 
a dry weekend where there isn't really any content. And tip number five is that to be on the lookout for snipes, you know. Today, today was a good day to snipe cards because of everybody pulling the packs. So yeah, those are pretty much the five tips. I hope this video has helped you guys. And if this video did help, make sure you guys do drop a like if you guys haven't already. Subscribe if you guys are new because we're getting closer and closer to 11,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Catch you guys in the next one. This is YBC and I'm out. Peace.